Also, you just missed a great joke by the great Barry Curtin, and it's one that we cannot play on air, so we need to get on to what is going on. Of course, David Noble uh, oh, yeah, resigned yeah. or sacked, uh, yeah. announced on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot that sort of comes out of it now, and the Mutual review, agreement. and who would take over, and all that kind of gear. Mutual agreement. Unfair or fair? Oh, now, the look, reason you know, I'm asking, obviously yeah. he hasn't won a game, but I want to know if the thinking would be different they lost to Collingwood by 10 points. Yeah. If they had have beaten Collingwood, yeah. would they suddenly have gone, oh, maybe we need to hold Pull on back. hold on a little bit. Yeah. But because he lost, we've already decided you're on your way. Is it that simple that the coach can be kept if he wins a game, but because he hasn't won for a while, we get rid of him? Yeah, Are a, we that yeah, naive to think that's how easy mate. coaching yeah, is? It's ruthless. It's, yeah. it's unbelievably ruthless. Unfortunately, we're in a win an environment where you have you to know, win. Oh, we got, get that. You've you got to win, but... Do you uh, reckon the mindset would have been that? Do you reckon well, there would have been a shift? Oh, if, he, if they had beaten Collingwood... Everybody said it. If would they win that game, he'd still be there. How, yeah. how do they work that well, out? That's what I'm saying. There's that something time. clearly wrong with the process. Well, of course then, is there it? is, mate. Of course there is, because really, they would have made their mind up. They didn't make their mind up this morning. No, that no. would have been done. Yeah. I've got no doubt it was done before the of game. Of course, a couple I'm of weeks. I'm just wondering after he wins whether they go, oh... Yeah, I don't really think they would have. Think I, think they, I think they think that he's not the man right now. And, uh, well, clearly, maybe he's not. But then again, oh, mate, I don't know. care who you put in charge of that mob. They're a rabble. OK, well, here's a quick question for you, and then we'll move on, because we don't want to labour on it too long. They play Collingwood. Yeah. If you took the 23 players from Collingwood yeah. and said, how many can I get in the North Melbourne team, moving the North Melbourne players out, yeah. just a rough number, what do you reckon you would have got 20. from Collingwood? 20. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> So now we'll go the other way. Yeah. North Melbourne. How many yeah. North Melbourne players could you put in the Collingwood team to tip the Collingwood players? Well, there'll only be two or three. Maybe, so we're asking, maybe, a, we're asking whoever coaches yeah, that's right. to do something that's impossible. That's right. That's so right. I have turned up for a gunfight with a water pistol. Yeah. Now they've got a machine gun. That's right. My chances are pretty no, slim to zero. I anyway. agree, mate. It's sad. It's so, sad, but it's, that's the way okay, the following game up is. on that, we knew that Ken Hinckley, and it seems to be, and the, it's very media-driven on how they... So I was yeah. listening the other night, I was watching Kane Corns on TV, making a comment about what coaches should do. Yeah. How would he know? Yeah. He has never coached. Never coached. Never coached. Not, saying, not talking about his playing record. Yeah. This guy's, mate, mate, why don't you go in and do some heart surgery? Yeah. Because I've watched a bit of that on TV. I've seen yeah. some movies. I'm going to do some heart surgery. Yeah. It's, the, it's, it's so wrong yeah. that people... I would respect if David Parkin made a comment on coaching or mm. Leon Cameron, who's just... They put him in... Yeah. He started, But these players that are making comments on coaches yeah. that have never coached, yeah. you are... Uh, Doing a disservice to the game yeah. and disrespectful of the coaches. I think I think Dermot Brereton came out and said that it was. Uh, I agree with Dermot, one hundred percent. He's come out and said it's it. a disgrace. It's, but the, the way they are treated, now, and it's true because and that, that's dead right. They've never been in the box when it's when the heat's on, when the absolute heat's They've on. They've never felt the pressure. They've well, never that, had to make the decisions. Right. The that, playing and coaching are two right. totally different things. As every player who's so, gone on to coach will tell you. I, I would like the coach... If the coaches could get the same creds as some of these journos are getting, if they came out and <laughs> yeah. said, well, I'll tell you where you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong... Yeah. Because they don't yeah. do it, because they don't want. They know it's a battle they can't win. Yeah. It would be embarrassing mm. for some of these people that are having goes at coaches to realise how far off the mark they actually are. So, so who's the coaches under pressure now, Phil? Well, I reckon in our town it's shifted to Nixie. I yeah. think Nixie's under a bit of pressure yeah. purely because people are tired of, well, just be patient. The process. Now they want to, so now they need some facts that the process is working. So yeah. can you show us that you've played some young players and they're developing? Yeah. Scores are a bit closer. We need some facts now to yeah. stay on track. Yeah, they need to win more than five games this year, in my opinion. Well, they might get the run home like they have previously. Could happen. Yeah, well, <laughs> their run home's not all that good. No, it's not. OK. That's <laughs> <laughs> for sure. All right, we're going and hope that Nixie's not. So yeah. uh, one has gone, and take a good look at yourself, some of you journalists that are being critical of coaches because yeah, yeah. you don't know what you're talking about. Time for us to go, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the show. We'll look forward to your company next week. Bye for now.